Welcome to Jesse's Home Product Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this air oven here. This is a Best Choice Products air oven. It has multiple functions, I believe like 9 or 10 or something like that. Um, but I'm going to be trying today the function of the rotisserie chicken. This will be my first time trying it, so I'm excited. I'm going to actually be doing a recipe by Anna Gartin too, so it should be super excited. This I'm going to be using this chicken here which is only a three pounder, which I think is a perfect size to start and see, make sure that that fits like nice in there and not like overly stuffed. So this is one of the smallest ones I can find. So let's get started. Oh, very simple instructions. Slide the rotisserie shaft, which is this, through the meat and secure the meat with the two rotisserie forks. So let me do that. This is the side, um, I don't know if you can see that, but this side right here is the side that goes into the thing. Ah, oh, goodness. All right, so I have it in there. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually show uh, how this works here, how it's like been put in. All right, so I'm trying to close these legs. So I'm gonna use this fork. I inserted the thing, I'll show you how I did it when that wasn't. Okay, put this in to the thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the forks in through the legs. Like that. Okay, so, um, wait, I think I can do a better job than that. Let's try again. Close the legs. <laughs> okay, all right. Ta-da! Legs closed, baby. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to put this top part back on. And I will turn it around so you guys can see that as well. Put this through this thing here. Oh God. I gotta secure, <clears throat> secure the other sides because it basically just popped right out. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. So I'm gonna just put it right back the way I put it. So I'll have to hold the other side real well here, even though it's kind of hard, but since I'm trying to keep these legs closed. <laughs> God, I feel like I need some help. Okay, so the legs were definitely closed better before, but I'm like, I don't want that other side to like pop out again. So that's the challenge here, guys. This leg doesn't want to close. <laughs> it's like close, buddy. No. All right. 
I did it. So that was definitely a bit of a challenge, but I got it. And it was because obviously it was my first time doing it. So I didn't know to hold the other side. So the next time around, it obviously will be a little bit quicker to do. All right. So then it also comes with these little things here to secure. I'm gonna, uh, this one over here, the leg is kind of, but put these little things here. Just kind of screw it in, that little hole there to kind of secure that thing. Perfect. Now the other side. All right, so this baby is ready to go. All right, so now it's time to put the chicken inside here. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this here in the bottom so we can roast along and cast those delicious uh, juices. For that sauce later that she makes, it's like a gravy. So, all right, so this side here is what goes on to this here. All right, so it's definitely on there. Okay. Oh my God, it's perfect, guys. So there we have it. That's what I was talking about. It's the perfect size. And I guess you could even get like one that's bigger because look at that. It's barely touching. It's a lot of space in between the top and the bottom. I was even able to put that um, baking dish there on the bottom so I can catch those juices. And it's literally, the only thing is those dang wings are just kind of like flopping there. I wish I had something to kind of uh, keep them in place. All right guys, so it's been about, in five minutes it's gonna be 20 minutes. But what I've done is because I really don't like the fact that those wings are just hanging out like that. So I looked online, luckily I had some toothpicks and I've been soaking them and it's good to soak them for 20 minutes so they don't burn in the oven. But you know, it's been about 15 minutes, it's close. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is try to pin these things down with that. Um, <laughs> there we go. I mean, next time I'll do two two toothpicks per side, but um, I think that should work. Now for me to get the other side. No, oh, brother. I think I'm gonna need two. All right, I was able to do it. And now, um, in Ina's recipe, she has this chicken um, in the oven at 425 uh, for an hour and 15 minutes. But I'm going to use the function, obviously, for the air oven. Turn it on. Put the rotisserie chicken button. It says only 30 minutes, guys. 400. So let's see. I do have a meat thermometer, so... I will definitely make sure that that's good to go. All right, guys. So, so far it's been in there for about 10 minutes and definitely cooking. I can see the skin bubbling, the juices dripping, but I have not seen it rotate, not once. And it's supposed to be rotating. So that right there is a big thumbs down on the um, on this air oven because it's supposed to be a function that it does and it's the first time I'm using it it's just fairly new so that is definitely a big bummer thumbs down but that sucks guys and that means that for the um, the skewers too it's not gonna rotate either so I don't know what that's about it doesn't even have a uh, warranty or anything so I don't even know if I were to call the company what they would do about that but yeah so far thumbs down on that 
All right, so the 30 minutes is up. I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature. I mean, it looks pretty done. It did not rotate though, guys. It did not rotate, so through the whole time. So, all right, so according to Google, it's supposed to be 165 to 170 degrees by inserting it in the fatty part of the thigh away from. That is not done, guys. That is not done. Mm -mm. Uh, so far, this is the particular function that is not doing very well. <laughs> that guy is not done. Literally, it was only like 105 or something like that. It read. And I even saw some like bloody li like <clears throat> liquid coming out. So that is not done. It probably needs another, I don't know, half hour or so. But because it's not rotating, I think I'm gonna need to take it out and try to put it over on its um on its back to be up. So let me see if I can get that done without burning myself. So this is how it's looking so far from the first 30 minutes. That is the back of it. Definitely does not look cooked, guys. So definitely have to do it for another half hour on that side. So that rotating function definitely does not work and it's necessary in order to cook it at that time so it can get crisp all the way through. All right, so I was able to get it in there. It was definitely a challenge, so I'm not burning myself, but I got it in there. All right, so I'm gonna pop it in for another 30 minutes. All right, so I put it back in there, um, again in the rotisserie um, function, and I tried to put the temperature up and it won't let me. So, yeah, that sucks. And I would like to put it for 425 to see if that helps it out a little bit more because that is the temperature um, for the recipe. But okay, it let me add more, a minute more, but definitely not letting me add uh, you know, raise the temperature. All right, so the second 30 minutes is up. Let me go ahead and check the temperature with my handy dandy meat thermometer. Well, according to the meat thermometer, it's 190. 188, 187, 186, 185. So it looks about right. It's supposed to be between the, um, yeah, so that's like probably overcooked. <laughs> First it was undercooked and now it's overcooked. But either way, it's cooked. So that's a good thing. So now I'm going to remove it. And then I, for I had forgot about this. This is a thing to use to remove it without burning yourself. Check it out, guys. Now that I could have used before, right? <laughs> uh, so far, the skin looks pretty crispy on the back now. You look at the bottom, I mean the top. That's it. Beautiful. All right. So it's supposed to sit and rest for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so now it's finally time to eat, man. <laughs> Let me go ahead and carve this guy up. So I'm going to start with that as my taster. Oh, wow. That looks good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a taste.
Mm. Very delicious. And definitely slightly overcooked. Mm. So good though. Mm. Wow. But I think that if I would have taken out, because it's only a three pounder, if I would have took it out at um halfway through that second round. So basically a total of um 45 minutes, maybe um maybe 20 minutes on one side, 20 minutes on the other side might do it so it can still be like juicy juicy but no worries that's why we have all that sauce there for <laughs> but wow it's so good guys mm. but yeah i'm gonna keep finish eating this guys and till next time thanks for watching